Hey there, Nick Hackers here. In this video, we're gonna go over how to bypass using an alias on the command line for a one-off command. For example, if I run lsla here, notice that we are getting colored output here, but that doesn't happen with ls by default. That is due to me having an alias set up for ls that actually adds the dash dash color auto flag, and chances are you have this too. But if I take a look here at my aliases file and do a search for ls, we will see that this is where that alias is defined. You know, the flags are a little bit different for macOS versus Linux, that's why I have this if condition here. But the takeaway there is this alias is responsible for adding colored output. Likewise, for grep and the variants, uh, the same thing is being applied here as well. But, you know, let's just say that uh, you didn't want to use that alias, but you don't want to have to do any, you know, really long-winded way to, to run that command. So there is a shortcut where you can just do backslash and the command that you want to run, and that is going to completely bypass your alias. That's not specific to ls, that's just bypassing aliases in general. We can see here that we're no longer getting the colored output. And there's actually a couple of different ways to do this. We can use uh, double quotes, we can use single quotes, uh, we can also just type in the full path to the command that you want to run, and all three of these solutions are going to uh, bypass using the alias, or four if you want to count single versus double quotes. Uh, for me, I typically use the backslash one just because it's a lot easier to type. You know, it feels uh, very natural to do that, right? Less characters, and uh, it's like backslash. It's like we're aborting, not aborting something, but kind of like not doing something, right? But yeah, that's basically how you can ignore aliases here. Now, are you going to really be using this in your day-to-day -day for LS? Probably not, right? Because typically if we're even running LS in a shell script and you don't want to have the colors or whatever, uh, your aliases are not going to be picked up unless you typically source your aliases file explicitly in your shell script. But you know, this may come up uh, once in a while. Like for example, let's see, what could I do here? Uh, I'm going to echo out a file called A and also echo out a file called B here. And if I run the diff command, well, it doesn't matter how many times I wrote B there, but you know, if I run the diff command here on A and B, then notice how I get a very nice colored output here. This is very similar to what you might see if you were using uh, the get tool to do a diff here, but this is not inside of a git repo, right? This is the normal diff tool. And the reason that it looks like that is because I actually have an alias set up here for the diff command that actually runs a diff with that dash or dash dash color as well as dash U. Now, if you want to know what like these flags do, well, the color one's pretty obvious, right? It makes the, the, the diff be well, like red is going to be things that were removed and green is going to be things that are added. But what does actually uh, dash U do? Well, we can use our newfound knowledge here to do backslash on diff here. And we can take a look here at what happens now. So we can see the output looks more like the regular diff commands here where subtractions are with the less than sign and additions are with the greater than sign. We also have no coloring there at all. But you know, we can also just add our color here specifically if you want. But now it's basically running the diff command without the dash u because again, it's the raw command here, not using the alias. But as we just saw before, when I actually run it uh, like this, then it is going to use both flags here, dash dash color as well as dash u, and we get a little nicer look for using diffs. So, you know, this diff alias also is uh, in here somewhere. There it is, all it does, it just aliases uh, what we just saw here. So, you know, Maybe for certain things, uh, it's a little bit easier to read this way. Uh, realistically, no, it's not. It's usually this way is a lot easier, but uh, that's why I created the alias, right? Like 99% of the time, you're gonna wanna use it. But, you know, maybe you can think of some better use cases on when you might not wanna use an alias. Uh, let us know down in the comments below when you're actually using this trick or maybe what aliases do you have set up that you use most of the time, but sometimes you don't want. Uh, with that said, if you have any questions about this, also let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps a lot. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in the next video.